first of all, let's not pretend like we don't see all of this right here. <laughs> so yes, I got my hair twisted. These are actually Senegalese twists. I love them. Every moment of them. They are fabulous. I have had them now for about two months. I got them at the end of June. And um, for my last video, you guys saw that I was in Atlanta. So I did a live stream in Atlanta. Oh Lord, my baby, big old dog. Walk around in my yard, it's a big old German Shepherd. Um, <laughs> distraction. So I was in Atlanta for a student leadership institute with Josh and Kalani, and I actually um, was one of the volunteer guides at the Institute. We went to visit my mom while we were there, and while we were at my mom's house, Miriam and Hunter came by. They brought the kids with them, and we hung out. So, you probably saw this then, and it was a lot newer at the time. It was only like two weeks old or so, maybe three. No, like two weeks old or less. But anyway, it is now, this stuff been in here since the end of June. It is now the end of August, and y'all, I love them. They have been washed three times it would have been twice but the second day i washed them and it was a situation when i washed it i put this spray in it and i did not like the spray at all it was like an oil it was hot six oil i didn't like the way it smelled not only did i not like the way it smelled but it bothered me so much that my throat was raw from it now i did add jasmine oil to it because i already didn't like the smell when i first smelled it in the store but i thought i could maybe fix it um so the jasmine oil i could still smell and it did smell better but it was still just overpowering and i'm like swallowing now just thinking about how i was reacting to it i got up the next morning and just washed it again and um then put my go-to spray on it, which I'm gonna show y'all, which I love, and went about my business. So if you see them up close, you can see that, you know, they're not brand new anymore. See that new growth, right? And you can kind of see the age, right? My real hair is obviously twisted into them. It's about, it's about here. But then the ends are loose, guys, I love it. Ooh, honey, I love it. Right now I just have it pulled back in a little pony nub, um, <laughs> like this, with the back down. But I've worn different styles with it, and this is, y'all, so cute. So she braided it at the roots, and then twisted them out, and then left the ends loose. And they come down to um, a little past waist length. Well, they come down about waist length. Yeah. So they, they come down to about waist length, and um, yes, my hands stay in this hair. I love it. So the woman who did my hair is named Victoria and she has an assistant named Edna. They worked on my hair, y'all, and they did such an awesome job. Like I said, I keep touching it. Um, it took them six hours. They were efficient, but we had a good time and talked. We watched Nollywood movies and Ghanaian movies. Um, Edna is from Ghana and Victoria is from Equatorial Guinea. And um, y'all, they hooked me up. I munched a little bit. The time went by pretty well. It was an easy day, um, but y'all know I'm tender headed. So I was like, <laughs> but I'll tell you what I did to prepare getting my hair done and then what I've been doing to maintain it. I'm um, just to take care of it until I get these taken out. So before I went to get my hair twisted, I deep conditioned it and I really wanted to make sure to fortify it and strengthen it because I knew I wouldn't be able to do a deep condition for the whole time that it's in these twists. And I haven't, I'm not, I'm not messing with deep conditioner in these. So I deep conditioned it before I went in. And then after I finished the washing process, I let it air dry and twist for a while. And then I did a light blow dry on it. Now, the reason I did that isn't because I know some stylists prefer it and they want to deal with that. It's because I'm tender headed. Okay, I'm tender headed. I already knew <laughs> what was what. And so I haven't really had other people's hands in my hair since I went natural. Part of the reason I went natural is because I'm tender headed and I don't want people's hands whoo, on my scalp. But I went ahead and I decided I wanted this. So I was going to try to make it as easy as possible. So I blow dried it. Um, and I then, I'll show you a picture of the blow dried hair and the exhaustion afterward. I didn't even really blow dry it that, that, um, straight as you can see in the picture, but I just wanted to get it a bit straighter and easier to work with. So <laughs> when I went in, 
I took some ibuprofen before I sat down in that chair and uh, she started kind of over here and I honestly wanted braids or wanted twists rather that were a little bit bigger but once she started I saw these and was like yes I like that do those do those so I went ahead and got the small size and I'm loving them guys I'm loving them you know sometimes you go in and the stylist changes it up from what you want and you're like no don't do that but I was pretty flexible with it um th this is the length I wanted and with the length that I wanted I feel like this smaller size actually really works well with it I decided that I wanted gray I have my mind set on some gray Senegalese twist for a hot minute that's just what I wanted and Eric was like I don't know I don't know and I was like Eric you know you don't be liking these colors and looks and styles of clothing. You're like, I don't know. And then I put it on and you're like, oh, okay. And I knew that was going to happen. I just knew. Plus, I had seen a woman who's a little bit lighter than me, maybe. But she had some gray twists last year. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is striking. So I already knew. <laughs> and y'all, uh, I love them. I love them so much. I just keep looking at myself in the screen instead of at you because they're arresting to me. I just keep like staring at it like, oh my gosh. So I do have longer natural hair. So the, the twisting had to go down um, a good bit to about here. And there's black and gray in the, in the hair that she used. But even with that, my black hair is actually what you see predominantly throughout here. So I have, so like I said, I have washed it a few times. So it is starting to get a little bit frizzy. That's not the end of the world to me. I'm thinking, you, yeah, you can see that along this one, along with my really raggedy nail. I don't want to use my middle finger though, because that would be wrong. These are my real nails, by the way, y'all. But this one broke, my index fingers broke. But my other ones didn't. <laughs> okay, distraction. Okay, so it's fuzzy. Um, I put a little bit of gel on here while I was going to make this video so that y'all wouldn't be like, oh girl, your edges. But <laughs> it is a bit fuzzy now and that's okay. The underside, let me show you kind of how the underside is holding up. So, see the fuzziness on this one? Right there, a bit fuzzy at this stage. But like I said, I've had them for two months. So, I'm okay with that. And I do wear them down sometimes. I'm sure that you'll see them in upcoming videos down. But right now, I, well, I was at work today. So I had them pulled back just kind of in this little ponytail just to keep it off of my face while I was at work and at meetings. And um, and it's cute like this too. So I've had a whole bunch of different styles, y'all. Kalani was like, yes, I see you with long hair. <laughs> She's been playing in it because she hasn't. I went natural when I was pregnant with her. And so she's never seen me with, even my natural hair, I don't straighten it. So she doesn't see it down and out, and it's not this long, but um, it's about it's about this long. But she doesn't see it down and out generally. I've blow dried it a few times, but I don't generally wear it like that. So I'm really loving this. Let me show you what my daily product is, or maybe every other day. I wanted a braid spray to keep my hair moisturized and an oil for my scalp to keep my scalp nourished and healthy. and. Um, at first I wasn't sure how often I would wash, but it's turned out that I'm washing like every three weeks or so, maybe four, every three to four weeks or so. So in between, I've been using a restorative spray to keep it moisturized and to keep it hydrated because I live in Texas and it's hot. It's like 103 degrees right now, okay? So I use the main choice restorative spray and I'm sorry because there's a lot of reflection from my window, but I hope that y'all can see that. The Main Choice Restorative Spray. It is for curly and kinky hair. What does it say? Curly, wavy, and kinky hair. It's a really, really good product. And it smells like heaven. Heaven. Mm. So when I was at Walmart trying to find a product, I I don't like stuff to smell bad in my hair. So I was spritzing and kind of sniffing and I was like, oh, it smells really good. This is why we were in Atlanta because everybody knows Atlanta is the mecca for black natural hair products. And I was like, we're gonna buy some stuff while we're here. So in Atlanta, 
I was at the Walmart near my mom's house and I sprayed that and I checked other stuff and I was like, man, that smells really good. And a little while later, this employee was talking to another employee down on the main aisle and he was like, I smell, I, I, I'll be right back. I'm, the, I'm trying to find this woman. I don't know where she's at, but she smells amazing. I just, I gotta follow this scent. So he went walking off in the store somewhere and I wasn't really paying much attention, but then he came back later, like a few minutes later to talk to the lady again. And I was like, was he trying to find like a fragrance? And Eric was like, I think so. And Eric was like, I think that that that's my wife that you smell. And the guy was like, really? And we were like, yeah, I think it's this hair product. Smell my hand, y'all. He smelled my hand and was like, oh my gosh, what is in that? Y'all, this stuff smells good. <laughs> it smells good. I didn't just get it because the guy thought it smelled good. It has a whole bunch of really good ingredients, okay? Don't judge me. Also, um, like two or three days ago at work, this lady gave me a hug. We were talking because we hadn't seen one another for a, a, quite a while. And after a few minutes, she was like, something smells amazing. And I was like, it's my hair girl, because I already knew at that point. And she was like, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> so this stuff smells good. Now, let me tell you what's in it, just in case you're like, okay, it smells good, but are you like jacking up your hair? No, I'm not. This has amazing ingredients it i'll tell you what they say it does it's um it instantly delivers and locks in lasting moisture helps to improve elasticity and definition refreshes and boosts curls fights frizz softens and hydrates enhances natural shine and luster helps to strengthen condition and protect it's their tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture restorative spray and it has its first ingredient is water then there's glycerin which is really good for me because i'm in a humid environment now so that's helpful um it has um, natural fatty acids which i don't mind using at all it has aloe vera leaf juice celery seed extract asparagus root extract biotin camellia something camellia sinensis lots of lots of flowers lots of flowers Ginkgo biloba, leaf extract, honeysuckle. <sighs> I'm not going to read the whole list, but you get the idea. There's a lot of amazing stuff in this. So I've been using this as a spray, and I use this every other day, daily or every other day. Now let me show you the oil that I use on my scalp. So if you've seen any of my other videos where I talk about how I twist my hair in my natural twists, you know how much I love Camille Rose products. And this product, y'all, whoo! It's called Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum, Ayurvedic Brahmi and Alma Oils, or Amla Oils, I'm sorry. It's this product. It's got this nice spout top. I really, really like this. Um, I put this kind of in between the twist on my scalp and rub it into my scalp. I probably do this like two to three times a week. It has virgin amla oil, virgin sesame seed oil, virgin coconut oil, golden jojoba oils, virgin olive oil, pressed macadamia oils, shebu WS, I don't know what that is, aromatic organic cocoa beans, organic honey, biotin, excuse me, MSM, officialanis, offici, officinalis, bengaraj herbs, brahmi, that's a VTMS, tea tree oil and it's naturally scented it smells amazing but not as good as this by the way this is an empty bottle just to let you know i've already gone through one <laughs> and i'm on my second one now or mostly empty but i can't get that bit so i use this on my scalp i don't really run this down the hair so much uh, because i don't want it heavy and oily but i do use this on my scalp and this isn't really heavy it's pretty light actually but this is a go-to then when I wash it, I use I use this Cantu Shea Butter Root Rinse. It's an apple cider vinegar root rinse, and um, it does lather up. It's kind of a gentle scalp detox. I don't use this on my hair, though. I go into the scalp, get it all over my scalp, kind of work it through, and then rinse it out. And uh, I have used my regular shampoo, which is a Shea Moisture um, Moisture Retention Shampoo, to wash it. I, but I just kind of pour a little bit in my hand and then just kind of do this number, like from the root down, like in four sections, and then I rinse really fast. I don't spend a whole lot of time 
soaping up or scrunching up the hair and, and getting it all tangled um, because I, I want to preserve the style as long as possible. So um, the one product that I did not like that I used on my hair, oh, I did not like it at all, was this Hot Six Oil. I just, I just don't like it. It's a hair and body mist. I can't imagine putting it on my body and then walking around and having that fragrance. Ooh. <laughs> it um says six oils in one. Look, I even took off my glasses. Like, I don't want to give it any of my time. That's how much I used. It was just too much, y'all. It was just, mm -mm. I didn't like it at all. So, so I washed my hair, put that in, went to sleep, had this scratchy throat, woke up in the morning and got my um, stripping shampoo, like my clarifying shampoo, and went through and washed that stuff out. And um, then kind of put some more of this in it and went about my day. I just, I don't recommend that oil. I don't like it at all. Now, when I first washed it the first time, you know, when you get your hair braided or twisted, they, um, they, dip the ends to kind of get them like as straight and sleek as possible. They clip off all the stray hairs and then they um, put mousse on it and and um, kind of tie it down for a little bit. So I was using this at first and I had Kalani, I had some cornrows in Kalani's hair so I was using this on her hair too. It's an Aussie Instant Freeze Mousse and it did a pretty good job. I'm not using it anymore. Um, I suppose the next time that I wash it I could probably use it but I'm not as worried about the frizz. I'm gonna try to keep this in one more month. I'm going for three months, y'all. I'm going for three months. We'll see, just because, you know, getting your hair in a protective style like this is not inexpensive. And I do want some more, but I would love to get more than one or more than two months out of it. So um, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm super happy. I'm super loving it. I am grown. <laughs> and I wanted to let you guys know about the process. So after I take these out, which will, like I said, be in probably another month at the end of September, I will definitely deep condition my hair, give it some TLC, and then probably, possibly put some more of these in because I love them so much. Um, and I just realized I haven't had them in so long and I missed it. I missed it. I've never had them this long, but I missed having my hair in some kind of twisted or braided style. Oh, so I didn't tell y'all when she got toward the back of my head, it was toward the end of the process. The ibuprofen was probably wearing off. We were into our like third movie or so. Y'all listen, I was coming up off the chair. I was like, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Woo, glory, hallelujah. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. Okay, it hurt. But again, I'm tender headed and I'm from up, not the sides, but like this part of the back, back here, about here down. Mmm. Whoa. So I know they're spaced wider back there. Um, <laughs> she's probably trying to get through <laughs> quickly. Uh, Y'all. Y'all, I used to get my hair braided and I don't remember it hurting that bad, but I have had natural hair for like the last 13 years, have not had twists or braids in my hair. So I haven't had anybody had to get in there and part sections like that. She didn't hurt, it didn't hurt while she was braiding or twisting, it was the parting that hurt the most. And my texture back here is definitely tighter than the texture up here. And I wasn't trying to do a hard blow dry, so I didn't straighten the back out as much. So that probably had something to do with it too. Whew, but when I tell y'all my head, oh Lord. Uh, and I didn't want to take more ibuprofen because I was like, she's getting close to being done. By the time it kicks in, she'll be done already. Whew, listen. listen, Linda, okay? but I love it and I feel that it is just um, that it suits me and I love how it looks with my brown skin y'all I love everything about these except the back and how it hurt <laughs> so if you have any questions about my protective style about the Senegalese twist about cost or anything like that please write them in the comments below I'd be happy to answer your questions um, 
She used Expressions hair, and I think I have a picture of it, so I'll insert it here for you. This was the gray, not the silver. Even though it looks kind of silver, this is the gray, okay? So I realized that the silver would probably look white on my hair, on my head, like with my skin, and I didn't want it to look white. I wanted it to clearly, definitely look like a vibrant, silvery gray. So I went with the gray, and I am not disappointed. She used Expressions. I think that she used two and a half packs, I think. Victoria, if you're watching, how many packs did you use? <laughs> um, she bought the hair, she did style. I just showed up with a clean head of hair. <laughs> and have you guys had braids or twists in your hair since you've gone natural? What did you do? Like what, what made you decide to do it? Or has that been the style you've chosen to use while you've been natural to help grow out, grow out your hair? Or are you like, I will never, ever, ever put any other hair on my head ever again? Um, you know, tell me where you're at, what you think, how you like it. I am so glad that I got a chance to talk to you guys today about this. If you like this video, if you like my hair, don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you didn't like it though, don't thumbs down, okay? Just thumbs up anyway. We out here trying to do things, okay? Thumbs up my hair. <laughs> um, please comment. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already i appreciate you i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video i appreciate your support and i'll talk to you guys later okay bye bye and guys in case you're wondering because my earrings kept turning backwards in the video like this in case you're wondering what they're saying they're really awesome earrings they say educated what they say <laughs> They say, educated, conscious, and fly. Oh, snap. They're super cute. I got them here in Austin. If you would like the information for the distributor, I'll put it in the comment section below. She's a woman that I bought some earrings from a couple of years ago at my birthday, and I'll tag that video up here so you can see her. She has great products. I love her earrings. I have a bunch of earrings from her, and um, I've been wearing these all day. I've been looking too cute. Along with this owl isn't this owl gorgeous y'all you see that stone there oh, i love it in case y'all couldn't tell this is one of my favorite colors it is um this was my grandmother's owl my grandmother had a thing for owls and i guess my mom didn't realize that i have a thing for owls too and when i went to visit her in atlanta she was like whoa because she saw me wearing an owl and um and she gave me grandma's owl this thing is heavy it's gorgeous i love it so that's my little jewelry look today educated conscious and fly and wise. <laughs> Bye, y'all.